sneak peek of Windows Server 8. So this is the first time we've shown Windows Server in front of any public audience. We have literally have hundreds of features that we're excited to talk to you about, and we will disclose more at our upcoming build conference. What I wanted to do is give you a sneak peek of one of those features out of the hundred features, and for that, I'm going to bring up Jeff Woolsey. Hey, Jeff. Thanks, Robert. Thanks. It's a real pleasure to be here. Earlier this year, we released Windows Server 2008 R2SP1, which included two key new features, remote FX and dynamic memory. Dynamic memory provides you the ability to drastically increase virtual machine density for your customers today, help them lower the cost for their private cloud infrastructure, and position you as the trusted advisor. With dynamic memory, we easily achieve over 40% increase in density just by enabling dynamic memory. However, today, I want to give you the very first sneak peek at the next version of Hyper-V. Here we are running Windows Server Codename 8, and this is running Hyper-V. We heard from you and your customers that we needed to provide support for more virtual processors within the virtual machine to provide service offerings for larger scale-up workloads like SQL. I'm going to connect to the SQL virtual machine and bring up Task Manager to show you this virtual machine is running not four, not eight, not 12, but 16 virtual processors within the virtual machine. Now, in case you're wondering, 16 isn't the limit. This just happens to be the largest server I was able to bring today. I'm going to bring up Resource Monitor to show you this SQL virtual machine, this large scale-up mission-critical database is under significant load. Now, because this workload is so important, I want to ensure this virtual machine is safely replicated off-site. Today, replication is complex to configure and often requires expensive proprietary hardware. With Windows Server 8, we want you to deliver an enhanced, reliable infrastructure with Hyper-V Replica. Hyper-V Replica is asynchronous, application-consistent, virtual machine replication built into Windows Server 8. One of the things I wanted to point out is for Wind with Hyper-V Replica, all you need to replicate a virtual machine from one location to another is Hyper-V and a network connection. In fact, let's go ahead and replicate our mission-critical SQL virtual machine. I'm going to right-click and go to Enable Replication. First, I'm going to specify the target server and the authentication type. Basically, where do I want to replicate this virtual machine, and how do I want to encrypt it? Next, I'm going to configure which virtual disks do I want to replicate. I'm going to replicate them all by default and just move right along. Now I can configure the recovery history. Basically, how many snapshots do I want to keep for this replicated virtual machine? I'm going to click on Next. Now I choose the initial replication mode. Basically, how do I want to perform that initial replication? Over the network immediately? Do I want to schedule it? Or do I want to do it offline via media? I'm going to start the initial replication immediately and click Next. And you can see, in just a few clicks, I've started replicating my mission-critical SQL database from my Microsoft private cloud to my off-site data center. In addition, Hyper-V Replica works with any server vendor any storage vendor, any network vendor, making it the ideal platform for you to deliver new service offerings which will expand your margins. With Windows Server 8, we're delivering massive, massive scale in the box. We're delivering mission-critical reliability infrastructure enhancements and unlimited replication in the box with Hyper-V Replica. But again, I haven't even scratched the surface with literally hundreds of new features coming in the Microsoft private cloud. There's no better time to get started than today. Thank you very much.